Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I mend denim. So mending is something that I have been doing pretty consistently for the past year. Um, since I made the switch to cutting out unethical fashion and unsustainable fashion, I have kind of adopted a healthier mindset when it comes to clothing, and that is to repair it before getting rid of it. People used to do this all of the time. Back in the day, it was common practice to repair your clothing and your shoes and really everything around your house. You repaired it before buying something new. It's kind of a lost art and I really think we should bring it back. I think more people should have the skills and how to fix their things. Today, I'm specifically gonna be showing you how to mend a pair of denim jeans where the knees were kind of ripped apart. So you're not gonna need a whole lot for this project. The big biggest thing that you're going to need is the time and trust me it doesn't take nearly as long as you think. I can sew up one patch knee in the amount of time it takes me to watch like one episode of a show so a lot of times I'll do this at night. Um, another great place to do this is in the car if you're going to be taking a road trip or if you're going to be driving anywhere that's like a half hour to an hour away. Besides time, you are also going to need a couple of things. Most of these things can be found either secondhand or around your house. Um, if you are already a sewer, you probably will have all of these things and I encourage you to use what you have. So the first thing you're going to need is some embroidery thread. I am just using this thread that I I have left over when I used to make friendship bracelets in high school. I have a whole bunch of this thread left over and it works great for mending. Next you're going to need some sewing needles. I specifically chose sewing needles that I can fit the embroidery floss through but you also want to make sure that it has a pointed end because they sell these similar needles um, with a blunt end. So if you're going to be sewing through something like denim it's going to need to have a point on the end. Then you're going to need some sewing pins just to hold your denim patch in place. You're going to need some scissors, an embroidery hoop. These can be found really cheap at craft stores. The last two things you're going to need is a pair of scrap denim and your pair of jeans that you're going to be fixing. I highly recommend your scrap piece of denim it has the same kind of stretch as your pair of pants that you're fixing. So if it's a pair of denim that has no stretch, try and find a patch that also is not stretchy. But if it is a pair of stretchy denim, try and find a patch that has a little bit of stretch. So now that you've gathered all of your supplies, we can get started on the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay your jeans flat on the area that you're going to be working on. You want to just make sure you have it on a flat surface and flatten it out. Make sure there's no wrinkles on it or anything like that. Then you're going to want to take your scrap denim and measure the area you're going to need to mend and make your piece of scrap just a bit bigger than that area. The next step is you want to trim the area that you're going to be mending. So for jeans, you tend to get a lot of frayed strings and stuff and the edges can kind of be roughed up. So you just want to trim all of that clean off so that um, you don't get any further fraying. After you have the piece of scrap fabric pinned in place, you're going to put your embroidery hoop on over the space that you're going to be working on. This is just going to make it so much easier because you don't have to lay your jeans flat every time you want to work on them. You can take it with you, you can have it in your lap, and you don't have to be working on a flat surface. I like to slide the innermost embroidery hoop inside the pant leg and then I like to put the other one over top. So after this, you are ready to start stitching. Now I did a basic running stitch, just a back and forth stitch um, and I left little spaces in between because I like the way that looks and it takes less time to do that. And you can do this in kind of any way you want. It's kind of customizable to how you want it to look. I chose to outline my patch in a square. You can just follow along the shape of the hole that you're trying to mend. It really doesn't matter too much. Sometimes if it's an, an odd area, um, I'll just follow the shape of the hole. 
it really is up to you and what you think will look best and what will work best. After you stitch all around, the initial stitch is really just to hold the piece of fabric to your denim. You're going to want to then switch over to doing a whip stitch. A whip stitch is not that much harder than what we've already done, so don't panic. For the whip stitch, you're going to be working on the actual area inside the hole. You're going to want to come through the bottom of the patch fabric. And this is where it differs because you're not going to actually pull through both layers. When you come up through the bottom with your needle, you just want to go through the patch fabric. After you go through the patch fabric, you're going to want to go down through both layers. So you're going to want to grab the denim and the denim patch when you go down. And then you just repeat that process, keeping all of the stitches really close together. to want to continue this whip stitch all the way around the hole until you get back to the end you're going to want to close it off with a knot make sure you do a pretty sturdy knot because these are denim so denim kind of really takes a beating but after that you are done you can remove your pins you can remove your embroidery hoop I like to flip my denim inside out and I will trim the edges of my patch just so there aren't any weird corners or anything like that. I'll inspect my work, see how it looks, see if I need to make any adjustments to further reinforce it. You can get personal with this. You can put a different piece of fabric underneath the denim if you would like. You can layer it up with a different piece of fabric over a denim patch to kind of just give it even more reinforcement. Um, you can really do whatever you like. So if you would like to see more mending tutorials in the future, just let me know in the comments down below. I have a couple of other techniques that I use for different articles of clothing. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video.